Hey, I got faith for explosion, bro. <laughs> I got faith, bro. Honestly, I got I got faith that we would take on the North Coast. Um, it sounds arrogant, but it's not. In my heart, it's real. I live with it, with the reality of it every day. I feel like um, I feel like there are a lot of people out there that don't know God, and we keep talking about them. And I think I got faith that next year we'll meet them. Uh, I got faith for a building project. <laughs> Um, an amazing building project, not a lame building project, but I got faith for a, a, a big, in your face, North Coast building project. Um, I got faith for, I got faith for our worship, bro. I got faith for our worship to, on Sundays we're feeling like there's a, there's, a, there's a momentum, we're feeling like there's a sound, we're feeling like there's something happening, but I got faith that it would actually flow. I got faith that uh, we would see people uh, kind of just, just letting go in worship. Um, I'm celebrating Half Price Tuesdays. Um, it's been a, a group that I really felt led to birth um, ever since I got to Link. Um, there was there was a group of guys that really needed to fit in somewhere. And uh, the guys who didn't have kids and found themselves in the mid-twenties. And uh, they needed to find a purpose and a place to serve in church and to have a group to belong to. And I feel that's where we've slotted in. I have faith for a young trendy church and uh, I love I love to see the whack jobs coming into church. The guys who have dreads and the guys who have tattoos all over them. Um, I love to see the guys who set the trends because I believe God births that within us and if it can come through the church, sheesh, I love that type of stuff. I love just hanging around with those type of people because they they tend to rub off on me and we we tend to become counter-cultural which I believe the church needs to be. So I've just been enrolled at, at Link Church and uh, I'm enjoying my job and whenever I tell people hey I work for the church some guys the stance that they give me or the reaction they give me is is always different and some guys will look at me smile and they'll say praise God hallelujah and the other guys will take a breath and change the subject very quickly. I find that very funny. Do you love working at Link? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Um, it's challenging, changes every day, new challenges, um, constant change which I never used to be too fond of and now I've just absolutely learned to love it. Yeah, I guess through just how they've kind of taken me in and made me feel part of the family. I know it's a cliche, but I honestly feel like these people, they care of me as one of their own, uh, all the people in church and just how I've come to know, get to know them better and how they've come to know me better. And now, in the beginning it was difficult, but now, like, I can honestly say I wouldn't go to another church. Oh, well, bro, it's about the people, like, uh, <laughs> You really love Jesus and God. And what else? Hello. Okay. Uh, you dance and you have fun and you learn more about Jesus. Um, because he's the son of God. Because he does that stuff for us. If you, if you run out of a water, you just pour, pour one in and you make it into water. As a mom, I'd love to see Link Church become a place where little people can radically get to know Jesus and live out that reality day to day, not just on a Sunday. I want to see a church that unashamedly worships, worships Jesus um, in music. And I really pray that we can be a voice and a sound that goes into the world. I'm loving this church. I love the people. I, um, I look forward to spending time with this community. And I'm celebrating the fact that we're becoming more and more like a family each day, brothers and sisters, doing this thing together. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it. Guys have given me two minutes. To celebrate what's happened in the past year at Link, and there's just so much um, where to start. 
Firstly, I think uh, one of the first dreams, one of the visions of Link was that we'd be an authentic community. I believe in the last year we've we've learned to grow as a community. We've uh, become counterculture. We're starting to make a footprint on the north coast, and we're starting to change the face of the way church has been done. We, um, our leadership, I'd love to just celebrate that thing. I believe the structures and people have been put in place to allow for growth. Um, that guys are, are growing, that we're growing in numbers, that guys are growing spiritually. spiritually. So it's just incredible to to yeah, to honor our leadership, to, to celebrate that thing and just to, to keep that fire burning, keep the passion going for that. To every single guy that serves, every Sunday behind the scenes, um, the, the staff, the guys that are on full time, the guys that are here on a Sunday that make things happen. It's incredible to, to see guys serve, to see guys' hearts. I'd love to celebrate that with every single guy sitting here that's, um, that serve on a Sunday. And just use this as an opportunity to encourage guys as well, to somehow get involved. It's easy to serve um, hosting, worship team, sound and media, kids ministry. There's just so many different opportunities. And yeah, we'd encourage every guy just to somehow get involved. Faithful, a multicultural church, a church that has different races and different social groups and different economic groups all need to get it together to praise God together. Gee, I'd like to see Link touching, touching people where they're at and growing a church on a hill that everyone can see, everyone can come to, everyone feels welcome, everyone's worshipping God and the, the core value of it is just the, the glory of God in everyday life. A big year, but a story that I shared last night with the guys. Uh, little Luke, our seven-year-old, he was he was chatting, and a lady asked him the other day if he was if he was angry with God about what had happened with us losing Michaela earlier in the year, and he became extremely defensive with her, and was fighting with her, telling or well, not fighting with her, but but clearly, categorically stated that God is always good, and that God doesn't do bad things to us and then went on to tell this lady how an angel, there was an angel that had fallen and that's why we live in a fallen world and basically unwrapped the gospel for this lady and this little seven year old of ours who essentially is learning that through the engine room in our, in our Sunday schools. So well, our kids are being influenced in an amazing way and they, they know the gospel and they, they're preaching the gospel so yeah that's a celebration big time for me. So, so I've got faith that more of us are going to settle into our callings and start walking out in faith what God has actually predestined for us.